Hello, and welcome to Astropreneur. Uh, I've seen a lot of queries on some of the user forums that are asking about um, why their nozzle temperature is varying so often. It's going from, let's say they set the temperature to 225, and it goes from 225 to 235 down to 215, and varies an awful lot rather than in one or two degrees. So this is due to the PID tuning of the printer. Now, PID tuning of the printer stands for Proportional Integral Derivative, and it is the system that the printers use to hold a set temperature. Now, it also de decides how fast the printer reaches that temperature and how it, well it holds that temperature once it gets there. So without it, variation of different things can happen that the, the printer doesn't know what temperature it really is at and so on. And Marlin has a feature that actually allows it to auto-tune itself. And it does so by doing 10 cycles of heating and cooling. And f from that, it calculates the optimal settings for PID in the printer. And once you apply those, you will find that your temperature settings on your nozzle stabilizes. So I'm going to walk you through the process here on the screen of what we need to do to do PID tuning. Most people use uh, printer face. In my situation, I'm going to use Octoprint because my printer is not right beside me. It's in a different room because it'll be too noisy. And so what you'd have to do in printer face, you'd have to set up your port setting, which could be COM port 6, 7. It depends on each uh, person's computer. It would vary. Do you need a laptop or a desktop? You need to connect your printer via USB to your computer. And you need to set the baud rate to... Uh, 115200 in most places, but some printers actually use the, the higher speed of uh, 250,000 baud rate. But when you hit connect, you should see on printer face a, there's a, a terminal window that will actually pop up and start populating some information. Now, in this case here on Octoprint, I have that terminal interface right here. To turn around and initialize a PID tuning, you go into your terminal setting here. And you to M three oh three E zero E zero is your nozzle S I'm gonna use two two five so I'm gonna say to heat to a temperature of two two five and I'm gonna do C ten C ten means do ten iterations you can do more you can do less ten is normally the optimal but you can go above I wouldn't really go below but ten is where it probably is the best option and once you hit this you see here my temperature right now is 25 degrees. So if I hit this and hit send, the PID tuning is about to start and you'll see my nozzle temperature increasing. So I'm going to let this run and when it comes back with the results, now I have to admit I've already um, tuned my printers because I do all my printers, but I'll go through the process as if I have never tuned my printer before and we will go through and save the settings like you would normally. Now on printer face, as the temperature changes, as you see here, I'm at 128 degrees already. On printer face, it does not give you all of the temperature options like I'm seeing here on the screen. It's giving, giving me feedback. I can suppress those by just clicking here and it will pause those so you don't see them on the screen. But um, on printer face, you will see the PID auto tune. It will see some temperature changes, but it will not give you all of the feedback as, as the temperature consistently changes. Okay, so as you see here, um, I skipped ahead because it was it's an automatic process, and it comes back with some results. So the results that we see here are that the it the auto tune is finished, and it gave me three results: K, uh, KP, KI, and KD. These are the three item, um, settings that we're going to actually input into the printer. So to enter these into the printer, we're going to use the M three O one command. So we're going to do M three zero one. And instead of doing, we ignore the K letter, so we do P being 18.14, I 
and D 65. I should make that I and L. Actually, there should be no spaces after those, forgive me. And that should be an uppercase I. So P 18.4, I is 1.27, as we have here, and D is 65. And once this is done, we hit send. And that is sending those into the printer. Now we have set those settings in the printer. The next thing we need to do in the printer is actually save. And to save these, we do an M500. And that saves the settings to the printer. And then with a the verify center, we do M503. And that will give us our feedback. And what we do is we scroll down. PID settings, so it's 18.14, 1.27, and 65. So now our PID settings have now been saved to our printer. So now even when you turn the printer off and turn it back on again, these settings will be automatically loaded. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, as always, click on the subscribe link below. Uh, also below there are some affiliate links that you can click on if you want to help out the channel because using the affiliate links uh, gives me a small bit of income, it's not much, but a very, very tiny amount of income uh, for everything you purchase from the sponsors. And also, I have my Patreon page. You can feel free to subscribe to your Patreon page, and you'll get the notified of the latest and greatest updates. Thank you, and keep printing.